What's up everyone? Today we're gonna watch this video of BTS moments for the history books. I guess showcasing a lot of their historic moments, which they have a lot. I mean, they have achieved so much and they have been the first for many things. And it's pretty crazy if you think about how they just started as a group who wanted to make music. And just with that, they achieved so much. So yeah, without further ado, let's start watching the video and see these historic moments. Sometimes BTS just do things that are so legendary that they don't even do them with the intention of being legendary. I mean, that's that's they their just whole career. Are. So I wanted to make a video compiling 30 of my favorite BTS iconic moments that not only live in my mind rent free, but also will go down in pop culture and music history. First, I want to is a lot. talk about three legendary moments that foreshadowed BTS's huge success. Number one, RM's I Will Prove It To You All. In 2013, Namjoon appeared on a TV show where he read some hate comments about him and BTS. The comments what? called him ugly, said that BTS's Damn. raps and lyrics. I mean, I, this is like a common thing that, that I've seen, right? I've seen a whole bunch of famous people make videos of like reading hate comments. Comments about him and BTS. The comments called him ugly, said that BTS's raps and lyrics are hideous, that what? he gave out his identity as a rapper because he debuted in BTS. Oh and instead of responding to each of these comments, he simply said, <laughs> And then BTS oh. started growing exponentially. Wait, that... That's such a badass response though. He's not mad or anything. He just said, I will prove it to you. And then BTS started growing exponentially and ruling the music world. Number two, naming I mean, yeah, that's why he's a leader right there. Fans army. Just think about the little rookie group oh. BTS naming their small group of fans <laughs> army in 2013. Only for this group of fans to literally become the biggest fan base in the world. Probably the yeah. biggest fandom ever. That Number started three, back then. Biggest fan base in the world, probably the biggest fandom ever. And Number nobody, nobody would have ever guessed how big that would become. Army three, and my favorite foreshadowing moment ever is Jungkook making BTS win a gold medal at Isaac. Oh, Context. is this with his, with his running? Since 2014, and for four years, BTS I've attended the Idol Star Athletic Championship, a TV show I've, where singers compete in. Multi I've seen a clip of this, but I, I haven't seen like the the full thing. I, I can't find it. I, I think they did a whole bunch of things like archery, maybe even wrestling. Three sport events. They won their first gold medal in 2015 for the 400 meters men's relay race. This moment literally represents BTS's story. At the beginning, the commentators who represent the media didn't even mention BTS. They were only paying attention and talking about the other groups. All of this while Jungkook quietly took the lead, making BTS it, it was, win the it race. It was not quiet though, it was pretty loud. visibly surprised and couldn't believe <laughs> that him BTS go. turned oh, wait, the game no, around. <laughs> He was the last one. Yeah, he started zooming. <laughs> And to prove that this moment truly he got represents quite a BTS's lead. career, BTS stayed on top and won the race every other year they attended the championship. Wait. Yo, that's impressive though with a run. Holy crap, look at that lead though. Jungkook started off right next to them and look at how far he is. You really Number can't do four, it all. Their first Desang. In 2016, BTS won their first Desang or Grand Prize at the Bro, 2016? Don't they have like 80 now or something crazy? Melon Music Awards. <laughs> the Album of the Year Award was given to their first compilation album, The oh. Most Beautiful Moment in Life, Young Forever. And as seen by the reactions, they were definitely not expecting this. Hey, the the way to you for this moment. 2016, Melon Island. That moment is, is iconic. 2016, Melon Island. Uh, 2016, Melon Island. Number yeah, 5, nobody The expected Paper it. Award. In 2017, BTS were nominated for the first time uh, to one of the biggest American awards, the BBMAs. The category was Top Social Artist, and BTS became the first Korean uh, group to be nominated and win at the awards. When the guys returned to Korea, Jin was seen holding the paper that uh, had their name <laughs> as the winners. This is why many jealous people hold, holding the paper that, that, that had is a pretty badass photo their right name there. as the winners. This is why <laughs> many jealous even people... Even if his mask has a little Q 
cute teddy bear. <laughs> award useless because it was just a paper award. However, this was a real award that was given to the artist with the biggest social media presence. And BTS winning this paper award for the first time that many yeah, swore was not Korea. wanted by other Korean groups was the reason why all of these groups that many swore was Y'all are going to wish you had a BBMA. Oh, okay. It's not wanted by other Korean groups. Was the reason why all of these groups started Twitter accounts and their social media presence. Number six, Wait, so this... sweeping an award show for the first. So like, that wasn't much of a thing back then. Twitter. Because nowadays, yeah, like it seems like groups they know social media. They they gotta do it. They gotta upload all these posts. All these Instagram photos, all these TikToks. And their social media presence. Number six, sweeping an award show for the first time. BTS! I mean, yeah, BTS. Started in 2019, <laughs> BTS became the first artist ever to sweep an award show in Korea. BTS won the four Desans, Song of the Year, Damn. Artist of the Year, Album of the Year, and Record of the Year. So artist, record, song, and album. The 2019 Ooh. MMAs, as well as four other awards. Less than a week and later, BTS also swept the Mamas, winning the four Desan categories, Album of the Year, Holy Worldwide shit. Icon of the Year, Song of the Year, and Artist of the Year, That's as well insane. as five other categories. Suga also won Best Collaboration for Song Request. Number Ooh. seven, Jin calling out the music industry. When BTS won Song of the Year Jin? at the 2019 Mamas, Jin took the opportunity to call out Song some artist charm manipulation Wait, really? known in Korea as Sajiki. He said he wants to live in a world where good songs get the recognition they deserve. He Damn. then said he looks forward to living in a world where music is produced in good faith. Wow. Add in a workshop? Number 8, Life Goes Song getting <laughs> yeah, to number 1 with Bro, Jin, I respect Number 8, Life Goes Song getting to number 1 with 6 radio spins. Over the years, BTS has been climbing the biggest US chart, the Billboard Hot 100, which counts streams, sales, and radio play as part of their criteria. And in 2020, they finally reached the number 1 position with their first English language single, Dynamite. The song stayed yeah, that was, number uh... 1 for 3 weeks. That was an insane achievement right there. Everything that that one song achieved was insane. It was only the beginning. Savage Love, which had raps in Korean, reached to number one. Then, the full Korean single Life Goes Song debuted at number one despite having a total of only six spins on US radio. This was special wow. because it was not only the first full Korean song to top the chart. It and was without also much the first radio? for a non-English song ever. Number nine, an unplanned song gained their, their first Grammy nomination. When it comes to their songs and albums, BTS are known for having everything planned in advance. This is why they were able to release cohesive album trilogies and have themed worldwide tours. However, the pandemic canceled many of the things they had planned and forced yeah, them to release unplanned content, times. such as a pandemic album and a happy English single to cheer up armies. This unplanned song was Dynamite, yeah. <laughs> and it was the one that got them their first Grammy nomination. Yeah, all those songs, right? Dynamite, Butter, Permission to Dance, they were just singles released song was Out of dynamite nowhere. and it was the one Man, that they got them huge. their first grammy nomination oh yeah! Aww, this is a sweet moment right here The Grammys Number 10, right BTS's livestream having more views than the Grammys. After the Grammys used BTS as ratings bait, saying that BTS's performance was up next but placing them second to last, wow. BTS went on Wait their life to performance was up next. They, they knew, right? They knew that as soon as BTS was done, a lot of people were just gonna Next, stop watching. Placing them second to last, BTS went on BeLive to celebrate the occasion with ARMY. This live stream had 13 million viewers, while the Grammys broadcast had only 8.8. .8. Number 11. Damn. I mean, hey, I'm always amazed at how much, much views their VLives get. Like, holy crap. We're talking about millions. The Butter to PTD Bottom Pass. In 2021, their English single Butter stayed at number one for seven weeks to then be replaced by their own permission to dance. <laughs> their own and then song. replaced again by Butter for three more weeks. Their most recent collaboration, My Universe, also debuted at number one. Number 12, Sugas We Haven't Picked Yet. After being five weeks at the top of the Hot 100, BTS went on B Life to celebrate with ARMY. Here, oh. Namjoon said that he was worried about 
of butter because they might have pick with dynamite. Then nah. Yugi made fun of comments Just saying that, that it's comeback. time for them to be replaced, that they've aged oh, and what? they are washed up. <laughs> Number 13, the PTS. Yeah, they're, 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 they are not done, all right? They're going to show everyone probably some more insane things when they come back. Number 13, the PTS law. In 2018, oh, yeah. PTS... This is the whole military thing, right? How they can, like, wait a couple years. And I'm pretty sure, like, BTS didn't even have anything to do with this. They just named it the BTS law. <laughs> to a recipients of the Order of Cultural Merit Award by the South Korean government in recognition of their efforts to spread South Korean culture globally through their music. This is why the law that passed that later that lets K-pop stars to postpone their military service until they right. turn 30 was nicknamed the BTS law, since they are the only ones who meet the criteria. Number 14, Suga is speaking <laughs> Korean. BT I mean... That's cool and all, but I feel like people, it gives people the wrong idea that this law was created, like, because BTS said so, you know, like, because they asked for this or something when it wasn't really the case. Since they are the only ones who meet the criteria. Number 14, Suga is speaking Korean. BTS were the winners of three awards of the 2021 American Music Awards. One of them being Artist of the Year, the biggest of the night. AMA. And right after literally being named the biggest artist in America, Yoongi did his speech in Korean. <laughs> <laughs> Number 15. Yeah, because, yeah, usually they, they do try to like speak English. I guess he's going to do what he's more, more comfortable with. Number 15, a standing ovation at the Grammys. BTS has attended the Grammys every year since 2019. They presented an award in 2019, they performed alongside many other artists in 2020, and they performed their own song Dynamite from Korea because of the pandemic in 2021. However, they were first able to show their incredible performance skills in person in 2022. Oh, this performance the performance though? was so good that they got an standing ovation from the other artists, and many media outlets named Butter as the best performance of the night. I mean, that performance was insane. <laughs> like, I don't know, we're talking about Jungkook coming in from the damn roof, like, you already know something to say you're gonna Number happen 16, when that Number 16, be creating Borage. In 2016, Taeyong coined the term Borage or I purple you in English. <laughs> I can't believe how much this one phrase like changed everything because obviously now like just I purple you the color purple means so lot with BTS and even when they're uh, gonna do a performance or they they travel someplace for a concert they they use the term how like turning the the city purple with purple lights and it's all from this one moment <laughs> 상대방을 믿고 서로 서로 오랫동안 사랑하자라는 의미인데요. 근데 저는 그때처럼 영원히 오랫동안 함께 the phrase became so influential that brands like Starbucks, Samsung, and Baskin yeah. Robbins have incorporated the purple hue into their collaborative projects it with became BTS. Their color. Several landmarks such as the London Bridge, the Empire State Building, the Wembley Stadium, and State de France, and many more have lit up in shades of purple in honor of BTS. Whether yeah, like now you think of BTS, you think of this color right here. Purple. Before, during, or after a concert, which just shows how purple is such a huge influence. The it's phrase also identity. inspired the creation of other words, such as Borajegas, named the Wait, city what? of Las Vegas adopted when BTS. I did not know that Borajegas. <laughs> BTS had their four shows in 2022. Another name for Borajegas was Bora City, which is also the name yeah. of this channel. channel. Number 17, a festival only for BTS. Like I just mentioned, BTS had four sold out shows in Las Vegas in April of 2022. However, they this sold was out not real a quick. regular tour. This was more a festival than anything. The city was full of BTS related activities, which Man. included four concerts at the Allegiant Stadium, a live play 
day of the concerts at the MGM Grand Garden Arena, many many merch booths and stores at the concert and at the live play, a BTS pop-up store in Area 15, Wait, a photography exhibition, four after parties at the Jewel nightclub. Man, the Las Vegas one seemed so much more of a party than the ones in LA, which I did go to. That, that one was cool. An ongoing party show. <laughs> But I guess in Las Vegas, they, they made the whole the whole city a party. With BTS music at the Fountains of Bellagio. <laughs> Restaurants which serve BTS's favorite Korean dishes. And BTS themed rooms at Damn. 11 hotels. Number 18. I mean, that must have been dope for the people who went and like stayed there. I, I Like I said, I went to the concert in LA, but I don't really had money to like go see the concert. And then go back. <laughs> Male armies leaving BTS in shock. We armies know that BTS' fan base is very diverse, and the biggest proof was when Taehyung asked oh. male fans <laughs> to make some noise. The scream was so loud that even the guys were surprised themselves. Yeah, this was this was an iconic moment. Started feeling like a like a football stadium. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that's how good all their stuff is, right? And that anyone Number 19, would like BTS it. releasing an anthology album. In 2022, BTS released their anthology album Proof, and I don't think people realize how important it is for them to release this. An anthology is not the same as a compilation album or even a greatest hits album. To release an anthology, you need a substantial discography, a variety of unreleased songs, yeah, and it was some like kind of CDs. impact in pop culture. Not everybody releases an anthology album because not anybody can. Number oh. 20, RM's just thinking about them releasing proof in those times makes me emotional. He releases an anthology album because not anybody can. Number 20, RM's speech at the oh, UN. This one, BTS has this spoken at the United Nations National Assembly three times. One being as an invitation by a Korean president. But it was Namjoon's 2008. I mean, I, I'm glad their country knows how much of an influence this one group has had on the country because it is insane. Speech, the one that had such a big impact in culture that has been quoted the most. This quote comes from one of the performers in BTS and it seems to stand on its own. And maybe I made a mistake yesterday. Maybe I made a mistake yesterday. But yesterday's me is still me. But yesterday's me is still me. Today, I am who I am with all of my faults. I am who I am today with all of my faults. Tomorrow, I might be a tiny bit wiser, and that'd be me too. Tomorrow, I might be a tiny bit wiser, and that's me too. These faults Damn, and mistakes speak? are what I am. Making up the brightest stars in the constellation of my life. I have come to love myself for who I am. For who I was. And for who I hope to become. Number 21, yeah. Jimmy Hudson. I mean, I just really love that moment. And for who I hope to become. Number 21, Jimmy having the most streamed song in SoundCloud's history. In 2019, Jimmy released his solo song Promise on I'm, SoundCloud. I'm pretty sure it's still number one, right? SoundCloud, which got 8.2 million I think I plays this in its ago. first 24 hours. And in 2021, SoundCloud announced that Promise has officially become the most streamed oh, song on the platform's yeah, history. That's my boy Jimmy right there. The song currently has 320 million streams. Number 22, Jane as the Grammy's Silver Boys. Jane's voice has been critically acclaimed many times so much so that the grammy panel described it as a silver voice because his breathing is so stable yeah that's what i was gonna say i he's always stable like i don't think i ever see him that he can easily switch from his head voice to his chest voice still equipped with a natural vibration and pleasing falsetto which is an extremely strong advantage i am impressed at how he was able to learn this when he didn't even think about being a singer when he joined the group. I think he put in a lot of hard work.
Number 23, Bee being Celine's mega star. In July of 2022, Taeyeon became the first BTS moments. member to attend a fashion show. And by the Ooh. turnout at the Celine's <laughs> fashion show in Paris he attended, there is no doubt that Taeyeon was the man of the night, as set by Harper's Bazaar. Taeyeon was just a guest at the event, but Celine made sure to send him a private plane for him, something Wait, that never done before. Plane? They gave him a suite four times more expensive than the other celebrities. They gave him a Wait, wait, all this is true? <laughs> special treatment and a special welcome and said that they never had such a big crowd even media outlets said that Damn, they and wait, said look at this only footballers like ronaldo and messi generate attention spikes of this magnitude but take young plays in the same league that they never had such a big crowd. Even media outlets said that they'd never seen something like this in a Paris Fashion Week or any fashion show in the world. Uh, that's, not I guess that is why they treated him like a royalty when they invited him. <laughs> Being the brand's ambassador, Taeyeon was named Celine's megastar by France's largest magazine, Paris March. Number 24. I mean, hey, Celine's not only was he a part of BTS, right, when arriving, representing, but look at him like holy Megastar crap <laughs> by france's largest magazine paris march and he's real handsome hanging out with celebrities after talking to biden in june of 2022 bts visited the white house after an invitation by president biden in celebration of the final day of asian american and native hawaiian and pacific islander heritage month yeah, like they, they discussed the search they were talking with the president of america in anti-asian hate crimes in a white house press conference and in a 35 minute meeting with president joe biden Biden in the Oval Office, a rare place for celebrities to go, since they usually like, only get to visit the outside of the office. Of like course, who would ever think of this, right? BTS, who started off just making music, are here talking with the president of America about something really important, trying to help a lot of people. It was a very important, significant moment. But I want to mention something funny. After Biden made the Korean heart and played BTS's music. <laughs> BTS hang out with celebrities like it was just another Ooh. regular day for them. Just speaking to President Biden by day and having <laughs> dinner with Chris Martin, Dakota Johnson, that's, and her that's by their night. Status. Number 25, J-Hope entering a hip-hop playlist. A big disadvantage Ooh. that BTS has is not being included in curated playlists in the genres they deserve to be in. Oh, they are only included in K-pop playlists just because they are singing in Korean. For example, Girl of My Dreams by Juice World and Suga was only only included in K-pop playlists, what? despite being a rap song that had nothing to do with K-pop. It doesn't yeah, matter that, if they really- that, that one is- Despite weird. being a rap song that had nothing to do with K-pop, it doesn't matter if they release a pop song, a hip-hop song, an R&B song, or a ballad. They are only included in K-pop playlists. However, after J-Hope released more, the curse was broken. More was included in K-pop playlists, but it was Ooh. also included in beats and rhymes. So it all one started of the with J-Hope. Biggest hip-hop playlists. Number twenty-six, Jimin being. I mean, the that's a, that's a good thing. Of Spotify's biggest hip hop because yeah the whole thing about BTS is that you know they have made songs in many genres especially since they released their solo albums too but I'm glad J-Hope broke that playlists broke number that 26 curse. Jimin being the social media king while being the least active what? on social media Jimin is considered Korea's it boy and he is the first and only idol to rank number one for 31 consecutive months in brand reputation rankings Wait, and 31 to rank months number one for in brand reputation, one consecutive or? months in brand reputation rankings, and despite being barely, now what is yeah, like I was gonna say, what does he do? <laughs> number one for 31 consecutive months. Does he just win this without even trying? In brand reputation <laughs> rankings, and despite being barely active on social media, yeah. he's one. Of yeah, Jim and yeah, when he opened uh, his Instagram in page, rankings. I was really excited. And despite being barely but then he would just rarely post. Really <laughs> active on social media, he's one of its most mentioned people. He goes viral many, many times in non-army spaces, and he's one of the most recognizable names across social media platforms. Look, Number 20 Jimin is a humble guy, but if Jimin wanted to, to be like, I don't know, like more, more, even more popular, and he like started uploading a lot on social media, started doing a lot of things, and... Maybe even like releasing uh, like solo songs in, in like full English and try, you know trying to trying to do a whole bunch of different things. He would probably achieve a lot of insane achievements. Seven. And Jungkook having the most liked tweet by a singer ever. Because he already does that. 
without even trying. Literally the kings of Twitter. The list of most liked tweets, which mainly includes politicians, has 19 BTS tweets in the top 30. In 2020, yeah. Jungkook's cover of Never... They could just upload a selfie, right? And they're, they're going to be up there in the most liked became the post. fastest tweet to reach 1 million likes that year, achieving this in 2 hours. In 2021, he beat his own record by surpassing 1 million likes in 58 minutes. This tweet, where he shows us his newly yeah. dyed blonde <laughs> hair, is the most liked tweet by a singer ever. Number 20. Hey, he, did, he did look real good with that blonde hair, though. Hair is the most liked tweet by a singer ever. Number 28. J-Hope being the first Korean artist to headline Lollapalooza. Oh, Lollapalooza. This July 31st, J-Hope will make history as he becomes the first Korean artist ever to headline a main stage at a major US festival. His performance is already so relevant that the festival's US social community expressed surprise since it's the first time Sunday tickets have been Ooh. sold out first. I'm All not because surprised. his performance is going to be and on he Sunday. Delivered. Number 29, BTS getting matching seven Aww. tattoos. The seven members of BTS are such this legends one. that they got matching tattoos of little sevens that represent their friendship and their love for the group. They have Yeah, like look, some of them, some of the members probably would never even thought about getting a tattoo. Probably thought they would go their whole lives without getting one. But this one, this seven tattoo. Pink slowly revealing their tattoos and there are only two members left. This act represents so much because it tells the world that their love for each other and their fans wow. is real and they are in this BTS for life. And the last BTS moment for the history books I chose is BTS releasing this song as well as this one and this one and Korea's national anthem and this other song All and this it? whole album <laughs> and this other album and this one Doing what and they this do. one too. My point is that BTS's discography is the biggest proof that they are legends, not only because they break record after record with their music, but also their music is timeless and iconic. BTS well, that, that is the base of everything they've achieved, right? Their music. BTS is more than just a cultural With that, phenomenon. They are they some of the everything. biggest artists of this generation. Oh, that was sweet. Looking back on a lot of their achievements, which just so so happened to have happened, right? The members in in docu series and movies have talked about how when they started gaining a lot of popularity, it was a little bit much and they didn't know how to really handle all of this and even thought about disbanding and all because everything they achieved they didn't really try to or expect to it just happened they were just doing their own thing releasing their music enjoying what they did being honest and next thing you know they're the the biggest band in the world with the biggest fandom <laughs> breaking so many records being such an influence for their country like that's pretty insane what band can bring so many people and so much interest in their freaking country. <laughs> Even had a, a law named after them. But yeah, after seeing all of this, I'm just excited to see what else they will achieve because you already know when they come back, this will not stop. But yeah, this was a nice video. Makes me feel really proud. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.